this episode we're gonna be installing a Chinese diesel heater we're gonna be installing it under the one and uh, we're going to be taking fuel from a fuel tank from a main fuel tank so first thing first we're gonna have to drop the fuel tank to do so we need to unscrew a fill a fuel neck and unscrew three straps which hold in the fuel tank Fuel filler neck is held in place by just one 10 mm bolt which is uh, hidden behind this black plastic cover. Using a T15 screwdriver, unscrew the screw which holds in the fuel cap itself. You don't have to take it off, but I still took it off just for convenience uh, using T25 screwdriver. Once we took a black plastic cover off, it reveals a 10 mm bolt which we have to undo. Now using 8 mm socket, unscrew all the bolts which are holding an under tray. Now we have to undo this uh, two fuel lines, it's just uh, two basic push-in connectors. You might want to have a rug ready because it's a uh, quite a bit of fuel still in the lanes. Now using a 13 mm socket, unscrew three straps which hold in your fuel tank. Just one thing I'm gonna say to you, make sure your fuel tank is nearly empty or completely empty. So the lighter it is, the better. We don't need to completely remove a fuel tank, we just need to gain an access to that yellow sender unit. At this stage it might be a good idea just to give everything a, a very good clean here, I'm just using a, a little bit of a brake cleaner. Now my diesel heater didn't come with a fuel stand pipe, I had to buy it separately from the internet, I'll leave a link in the description below. You're gonna have to cut it to length, it's a 19 centimeters.
and you can't really see it here but uh, sand the unit has like a little square where I want my stand pipe so I'm just marking with a permanent marker where I'm gonna drill a hole and just uh, using a block of wood unscrew this uh, black plastic ring anti-clockwise and once you undone your fuel lines take your sender unit out just be careful not to bend the fuel gauge float you might want to have a bucket ready because uh, the sender unit it's full of diesel and just using a 6mm drill bit, drill a hole for your fuel stand pipe. Just remember where arrows on the fuel tank and the send the unit supposed to all lay. Now it's time to attach your fuel line to your fuel stand pipe. Just make sure whenever you insert on this uh, white nylon fuel line to the black horse, you insert it all the way in. Because apparently if you don't, an air bubbles can get trapped in there and then it will create all sorts of problems. Just run your fuel line along the existing fuel lines. Your fuel tank has a handy spare clips in there. Once you put your diesel tank back on, it's time to connect a few lines back. Just uh, don't forget to tighten the bolt which is uh, holding your fuel filler neck.
Now it's time to install your fuel pump. This black bracket, it's a it's the best place to install it to. Um, take note, your fuel pump supposed to be the, about 45 degrees. So a little bit of fuel supposed to be always at the bottom of your fuel pump. Now again that uh, nylon, white nylon fuel line is supposed to go all the way in in a black hose until you feel a resistance. And now we're moving on into the driver side. Just uh, removing under tray using a 8mm socket. This is where we're going to be installing our diesel heater itself. The best way to remove these bad boys just using a pick tool unscrew them anti-clockwise and they will come off quite easily. To mount a diesel heater to a chassis we're gonna need a stainless steel bracket. I bought it off eBay. I'll leave a link in the description for you below. This bracket is designed to work with a rev nuts which can go into the existing holes in your chassis. Now because I don't have a rev nut gun I made my own holes and put the threads in there. Or another option you can just simply use a tech screws which will hold your bracket in place. Now it's time to cut some new threads. Just using here M8 25mm long stainless steel bolts together with a sprung washers and uh, I'm using a bit of a Loctite 248 as well, a, a thread locker. Guys, if you like my videos, please give us a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, and for now take care, and I'll see you at the part 2 of an installation. Cheers!